So basically, this video is a legitimate example of emotional detachment. You know why? Because me, I'm big on setting examples. When you set examples, the idea, what you're trying to get across to people is louder. So you know what? This video is not scripted at all. Why? Because this is a complicated topic. And I'm not big on false positivity. I'm not big on taking ideas from somebody else and saying it exactly the way that they were said to me. I'm big on setting examples. But this is a complicated topic. Some things you have to accept that, yeah, you might have to plan, right? And you also have to accept that, or I have to accept that, some people work best when they plan. But you know what? Instead of telling myself that I am a perfectionist, when I emotionally detached from planning a complicated topic, I had to look at myself and how I function best and how I get points across clearly best when I'm talking about something complicated. And you know what? That is through freestyling. <laughs> but I'm also not faking what I'm saying because it is so freestyled. Now, some people plan out what they're saying. Maybe that works best for them. But you know what? It doesn't work best for me. So instead of comparing myself and instead of having all this pressure on me to say the right things, I can't do that. I need to just accept that and have faith in myself that I am going to get my point across better when I have a generic idea, like way of going about it, but I cannot like, I cannot plan what I'm gonna say down to the T and I cannot plan like every little idea, especially on a complicated topic. Why? Because I'm creative. You don't always have to tell yourself that you're a perf perfectionist. No, you have to see the good in it. I am creative. So many ideas can come to me at once. But you know what? If I just get on the camera and start filming, those ideas are gonna just come out of my mouth because that's what I'm thinking and I'm authentic. With that being said, how you detach is to know yourself and get clear on your values. This video is an example of that and I will give you multiple examples as I get into each value. Because I, you know what it is, I want to be effective. I want to actually get a point across. And the, like I said, this is not toxic. You are not going to not have emotions. Let's get that out of the way right now. In fact, you're going to be more vulnerable. What I value is openness. When you are open, you are accepting that other people have their way of going about it. You have multiple ways of looking at something. So when you're open to, when I stayed open to making this video, I needed to trust myself. I needed to look at why, why I get, let's, let's just drop the word perfectionist right now. Cause I, listen, I'm not big on false positivity, but this is a way that you can keep it realistic. I would call it more strategic. So with that being said, why do I get strategic? I needed to look at that because again, I want to be effective, but I want to avoid getting emotionally invested in the video. I try to avoid getting emotional. So I'll meditate and I'll make it so complicated. And what, the, like, no, no. So by being open, I am able to tell myself that if that happens, if I find myself getting emotional or I come, or I find a time when I don't have the idea right in front of me, right at my disposal to say to you, I have to accept that I can just pause the video and I can just choose not to do it, and I can just go about my day. But I'm also not sitting here judging other people and saying that because they have a strategy that that is any of my business. It's not my business. I am going to be happiest, more creative when I just do it. But I also needed to know that this needs to have some kind of structure. When I looked at how I am able to emotionally detach from things, you need to drop the outcome. You need to stay open to the faith in yourself and your values. You need to value your values. When you stay open, you accept that people might cross those values. And that is your compass to when you detach. When you are open and someone is arrogant, you will not try to like 
get a point across to them. You will accept that they don't see your point. You will accept that it is not your business. And instead of hating them because they are arrogant, and instead of talking about them because they are arrogant or whatever, or getting mad, I'm not gonna be like trying, I'm going to accept that reality is reality and people can be arrogant, unfortunately. I cannot control that. That is not in my control if someone is choosing to be that way. You know, I have to detach and see it for what it is. When you look at it that way and you value, you really value your openness because you value what you value and because you're in this situation right now, that you're gonna choose to not engage because you have confidence in yourself and your values and you know that your values come from your experience and what you know thus far and that you are acting in the best moral judgment that you know, in the best way that you know, in that time. But prior to me making this video, I can't, I needed to think to myself, listen, and if I don't know what to say or what I'm saying isn't getting across, I'm open to the fact that I can literally just pause the video, take a break or go or leave my house and just like not do it. You know what I'm saying? Another value I have, being resourceful. I don't want to go out in the world and think, what can I get, 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 get? Because you know what that is, what that emotion is, that's greed. And that is fear, that you're not going to have power and you're not going to get what you want out of situations. No, you need to look at yourself and your values. What makes you valuable? What makes you an asset? Be real with yourself. There's many ways to like re-script the way that you think about yourself, but you don't have to be negative and you also don't have to be fake about it. So when you want to be resourceful, you're going to self-reflect. You're also going to know what you bring to the table and you're only going to go places where you are a resource, meaning they value you. You're not going to even consider places, people, and things that don't value you because you want to be a resource and you want to think, how can I, as an individual, keep it individualistic to myself and go where I am appreciated? When people do not appreciate you and you value being resourceful, you are able to look at that situation and think, okay, I am not going to be productive in this situation with this person at this job because they don't see what makes me special. They don't see how I am a resource to them. You're not gonna be like, I am so bad. And I, you're not gonna beat yourself up because in this moment, they don't value you. You're going to accept that everyone and everything and everywhere is different. You're gonna think, okay, it is what it is. This situation that I'm in right now, I can choose to walk away without compromising my self-esteem because I am very sure and certain about myself and my values and what I know I bring to the table. I guess these people just don't see that. Doesn't mean that you're going to hate them and start hating yourself because of that. It also doesn't mean that before going into a situation, you're gonna wanna people please. You're not gonna wanna do that. You're gonna wanna be effective. This isn't people pleasing. Being a resource is not people pleasing. People pleasing is taking away your resourcefulness and going into situations where people don't care about what you have to offer really and they are just in it to get what they want out of it. That would be being a people pleaser is accepting situations like that. You can't do that. You need to detach. Integrity. Knowing again that have self-reflected. You have looked at yourself and looked at yourself in such a realistic way that you don't question yourself based on a situation outside of you. You don't question yourself based on a person outside of you, but you do that because you self-reflected on yourself, not because you are a narcissist, not because you are not taking other people into account. No, because you are certain, you are confident that you know you have analyzed yourself and you know yourself to such an extent that when people are going to tell you that you are being something bad or whatever, you're going to, by being open and having integrity, 
you will be able to have discernment as to whether people are trying to just change you for their benefit and when you need to have integrity in yourself sometimes to say that you are wrong and you're being wrong because you have integrity it gives you certainty in yourself and your actions but by being open you're also open to the fact that you might make mistakes therefore i know that i value empathy i know that i naturally have empathy just like when i get on the camera and i start talking i have faith in myself that because i value empathy that i don't need to watch every little thing i'm saying so i'm not afraid to say what i'm saying because i know at the end of the day that if i hurt somebody's feelings i have integrity and i have empathy that i can sit there and rationalize with what they are saying and understand when people are trying to take advantage of me and get me worked up and looking for attention and pity and when I may have been wrong because I have empathy. You said that? You felt this way? Okay. I'm sorry. I detach when I can tell that somebody is just looking for your, I don't know, your energy. That's why I also don't care when people say mean things to me because they don't have empathy. So why do I value their opinion? Another thing I value, my creativity. That's why I'm so frustrated right now because people make this so complicated. So then it makes it like a complicated topic to discuss. And I am creative. Therefore, yesterday, people are asking me more about it because I mentioned it in one video. I don't know what to say. Because I couldn't, I don't, I don't know what to say right now. It doesn't mean I'm procrastinating. It doesn't mean I'm stupid because I don't know what to say. I'm gonna just, Go about my day, do other things, and not do it. Doesn't mean you're procrastinating. No, it means that I value what I value. And my course of actions, because, because I am creative, I want, to, I want to be different, and I want, I want to say what I want to say, because I am creative, and because I know I'm creative. So, if something is going to get me all frustrated, I'm not going to do it. And I'm going to let it come to me when it comes to me, instead of chasing it. But people make things complicated. And they make it feel like you have to do that. You don't have to do that. It, it's literally like ice skating. You get to the rink, it takes you a little while to get accumulated to ice skating, but then you do it and you're having fun and you're just doing it and you're just enjoying it. It looks complicated, but it doesn't take that long. So you're gonna go and you're gonna practice this and you're gonna acquire it over time and guess what? It is not hard. And you know what? When we were little kids, we enjoyed just doing things, not because of what we got out of it, but and when we felt, we felt what we felt, and that was it. But no, guess what? I'm still an emotional person. I am so dramatic. Are you kidding? But it's easy. It is still easy to healthily detach and come up with your moral code that is unique to you so you know when to detach from certain situations.